construction of the orbiting space station will be completed next week. And a joint American-Japanese manned mission to Mars is planned for early next year. A report today from the National Institute of Health has linked the sudden resurgence of AIDS cases, thought to be nearly eradicated five years ago, to a counterfeit AIDS vaccine, which is virtually indistinguishable from the real thing, but missing the very expensive enzyme discovered by a team of Swiss researchers in 1997. You hear what you said, buddy? Hey, you know how it is. So many women, so little time. Yeah, well, it's gonna be back to no glove, no love. That's the way it's gotta be. Authorities believe this counterfeit vaccine, which has been flooding the healthcare system, is being manufactured in the Los Angeles area by the growing underground crime rings that have centered in the city's zone of personal freedom, which is the subject of tonight's focus segment. The views in this portion of the broadcast do not necessarily... Hey, man, I don't know why you have to sell yourself with a wife and kid anyway. You're still young enough to party. <laughs> when the city council, in an effort to reduce the burden on strained police budgets, created the zone of personal freedom in 1999, where police services would not be provided, it seemed like a good idea. So-called victimless crimes, prostitution, drug use, gang vendettas, would no longer overtax the system. And for a while, it worked. Crime rates in the rest of the city were reduced dramatically. But in the seven years since its creation, it has become a lawless no-man's land, commonly referred to as the Hell Zone, ruled by underworld gangs, most notoriously the Hell Riders, who perpetrate their violent acts in the city at large and then escape into the dark shadows, where our police now fear to follow. It is time the city council admitted its mistake and clean up this blot on our city of the future. And that's my perspective. And who do you suppose they're gonna get to clean that up? Man, they should just drop a bomb on the hell zone. Sledge, Brown, it's boom. There's been an armed pharmacy hold up in your sector. Fatalities. Suspects are bangers in a blue 98 Chevrolet. Sounds like our invitation, man.
gotta love those smart bullets. is going up again to $30 a liter. I tried to sell my car this weekend. A piece of junk just sits in the driveway and mandatory insurance, it's good. Do you have any takers? Only one. And I couldn't give the damn thing away. I even offered to sleep with the guy. <laughs> but I think he just wanted those damn tires. We got Mendez. Let's run him through. Uncuff him. What's the offense? Armed robbery, attempted murder, flight. Oh. He's carrying phosphorus loads. Good thing this boy can't shoot. This shit wouldn't have done any good. When he was carrying this, must have stolen from that pharmacy. What is it? The hell if we know. Looks like he's in kind of bad shape. Yeah, he resisted. I'm gonna remember you two oinkers. Sounds to me like he's resisting again. Yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, shit! Hey, when are you gonna get a haircut? <laughs> we had to go back to the old dress codes. I mean, this department's going to hell in a handbasket. LAPD, rock and roll division. Get a life and get him the hell out of here. Hey, Branner. Yo. Know of any good carpool openings? That old blue line sucks. Ride my bike, honey. What about you, Sledge? Sledge. Get a haircut. Oh, hey, Captain Croy. Yeah. Next week, my kids got to go in for a social evaluation. Can I get a couple days off? What, am I the wet nurse around here? <laughs> Check with scheduling. Thank you, Captain. 
Captain. Maze and Obel just captured the swordsman. They're bringing him in now. What? Why are they bringing him here? I mean, why in the hell didn't they take him up to high security? Well, they were afraid that the Hellsiders would expect them to do that. Oh, shit. Gear up! Get a cell open. Uncuff him. Let's run him through. I don't want him here over a couple of hours. You got a security transport over here from Central. I already called him. Hi, boss.
wait for backup! You wait for backup! Rockets that came with this baby. Sledge, you learned to shoot like that at the academy? This damn tracker is off. Baby, want a party? <laughs> Not tonight, cowgirl. I haven't had my shots yet. Listen, a big guy got out of this vehicle. See which way he went? What's it worth to you? Don't come back here again, you dirtbag! He's in there. It's rock and roll. I'll be waiting when you come out.
remember not to miss our special Death Ring Doubleheader next month. Lethal Chainsaw matches starting at midnight, followed immediately by battle axes at 10 paces. Sunday decapitation evening next month. Ask your nearest Death Ring hostess for details. Tomorrow night's preliminary match will be between Deathlock, the challenger from Old Lock Sector, and the mysterious Ninja. Check the big board for odds updates. Mr. Drexel, if you check camera three, you'll see you've got a couple of uniforms on the premises. I don't discriminate. Anyone can visit my club. If they want to play. Excuse me. Like 10 million to 10. I mean, I have seen this guy. He is. Excuse crazy. me. Let me give you a hint. If you wanted to play, you sh should have come out of uniform. We're looking for a guy called the Swordsman. Has he come through here? I don't answer questions. I take bets. You better what? No. The day to kill a cop! Now that wasn't very neighborly, was it? Screw you! No. Screw you. <laughs> Too bad we can't do that in the real world. Oh. Looking for the swordsman. <laughs> you just don't get any respect anymore. Should have left our uniforms at home. We're on duty. Swordsman got his name. Supposed to be top dog around here, right? I'll make a bet. I'll take the little guy. 
Man, look at these bozos. A T-bone joke is flat on his feet. You guys gonna kick his ass. could do better than that. Oh, thanks. stuff is? Lab says it might be AIDS vaccine. No shit. Is it real? If it is, it's worth a million dollars. But Lab doesn't think so. We're still running spectral analysis. Well, if the hell starters are running this stuff, the swordsman can lead us right to them. So what do you want me to do about it? Send him a nice letter? Let us go undercover. Absolutely not. I can't provide protection in there. But, Captain, if we're going to catch him, we have to go into the zone. We're volunteering. You got a family, Braniff. I mean, nobody's going to miss old Sledge here. What's your wife going to say about that? She'll just have to understand. Has to be done, right? You boys go out and get yourself killed. Nobody's gonna complain but the Union. I want you to keep in close contact. Do you understand me? I mean, I want reports. Get out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Winning Channel 256 News on the pulse of the living city with Sabrina LeBlanc. In Cleveland today, 14 police officers were killed and 17 wounded in an attempted sweep of that city's personal freedom zone after the mayor's announcement that the experiment, which began in Los Angeles and was tested in Detroit, Phoenix, and Philadelphia, had failed. Coming this summer from Kamikaze Entertainment Group, Jake the Tiger Wilkinson, former IKBA middleweight champion in A Death for a Death. Critic Roger Eater raves, I didn't know an action film like this was possible. Hi. Hi, sweetie. I didn't know you are home. How you doing? Good. What are you doing? I got a new 
New assignment, it starts tonight. I thought you were gonna ask for day shift. Look, they put me in sledge on this. It's a big job. I might even get a promotion out of it. Oh, bullshit. Look, that's what you wanted, isn't it? For me to get off the street behind a desk? Dear, look, what I wanted was be... Forget what, it. What? Forget Come it. here, what? You spend more time at the station than you do with us. It's my job, that's what I do. I was a cop when we got married. What, the, what do you want me to say? What? What about Billy's social valuation? Did you get time off for that? I can't make it. I'm sorry. Kill. No one's even come close. Here, challenges were blue. Hey, wait a minute. What about the rules? Rules? <laughs> mm. 
There are only three rules you need to know. No moves before the buzzer sounds. Stay on your feet, and the loser gets half pay. The computer will handle the rest. If you make the grade and you get five challenge around victories, then you can move into the championship category, and that's where the real money is. Lethal combat. And the losers don't get paid. These will be your lockers. Good show. Got some fresh meat here. Who thinks they got the stuff? <laughs> you go ahead and make friends. We're pretty loose around here, but I wouldn't advise you to get too attached to anyone. You might be fighting them soon. Also, drinks are free in the bar after your matches, and uh, have fun, gentlemen. After all, it's only a game. Um, your match is up next following. What do you want to be called? The Hammer. And what about you? Just call him the Pussycat. Yeah, that'll go over real big. How about uh, the Alley Cat? Hey, whatever. So you think there's anyone around here that can tell us what's going down? I got to start someplace. Hey, how you doing, man? I saw your fight the other day. <laughs> Damn good. Thanks. If you thought that was good, check this one out. Okay, you losers, I hope you placed your bets, because this is gonna be a good one. The Viper versus Dr. Death in a non-lethal match. These guys do know anything. You think any of them will stay healthy long enough to tell us? Odds change 8 to 5 in favor of Dr. Death. Here's your chance to increase your cash with an additional bet. and I can make some real money. Is that what you're in this for? <laughs> Why else? I'm Darren. Joey. It's my buddy Nick. Gorgon and Hammer, you're up in two minutes. 
<laughs> now, just in case anything happens, make sure you write down where you want the check to go, huh? Yeah, right. Just watch, huh? You might learn something. Newcomers wear these, put it on. I ain't no rookie. Let's give a warm death ring welcome to the new meet in the arena tonight. Introducing the Hammer. Just got a little bit uglier. <laughs> Don't get too cocky. Hey. Fighters, Alley Cat and Stomper. Sure. You guys are on. You ready for this, man? As ready as I'll ever be. Good. Don't let him mess up your pretty little face. Hey, newcomers wear blue. Put it on.
make it a show. Give him a shield. The challenger gets a shield and a baton. The champion gets a chain. Like a weapon you're familiar with, huh? I'm just trying to feed my family. Ain't much of a living flipping soy burgers. Besides, I didn't score so high on my social evaluation. Well, neither did I. Death ring beds, gentlemen? Don't even think about it. She belongs to Drexel. Theodore Drexel? Man upstairs. He owns this dump. Yeah. And half the hell zone. That's the one. She's a squeeze. Well, one of them, anyway. <laughs> Do you want to bet? No, no, no. We're in the ring. Am I supposed to be impressed? Well, they said if we were fighting, we'd get free drinks. We'd like another round, please. I'm not a waitress. I'm sorry. Look, you Neanderthals would not get paid if it wasn't for what I do. So why don't you just go back to your little macho bullshit session and let me do my job? She's loving you, man. Definitely. <laughs> I gotta go, man. All right, man. See you in the ring. All right. You think she knows something? It's only one way to find out. Yeah, well, I want to go check out the Sultan's Palace and see if I can uh, uncover some information. Uncover some information? Yeah, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Better have doubled up on your shots. Hey, it's dangerous, dude. What, you want me to get you a cigarette now? Look, Lisa, I wasn't trying to give you a hard time. Look, why don't I just save you the smooth talk? I fell for a fighter once. He got killed in the ring. I don't need the creep. Yeah, well, maybe I'm pretty good. Hey. I hear you're taken. People should just mind their own business, okay? I don't belong to anyone. I'm not a piece of property. We've got customers waiting to bet. I watched your bout. Interesting. You use a stick like you've used one before. I practice a little. Yeah? Well, keep your stick in the ring. Don't practice on my girls. I need them to concentrate on their jobs so my business doesn't suffer. Because if my business suffers, then my fighters, like you, for instance, will suffer. We understand one another? Yeah, I understand. Keep my stick in the ring. That's clever. Real clever. Why not try our new virtual reality vision? Feel what it's like to be a Death Ring fighter. The latest in virtual reality technology ripped off from Mitsutoshi Entertainment. Well, what, I? Oh, oh, you just nailed me again. What are you doing to me here? 
trying to kill you. Hey, hey, hey. Why'd you want to do that to your old man? Look, there we go. That's twice now. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Look at you. You stay out all night, you come home looking like this. What's this assignment? I can't take this, Darren. Not anymore. But Billy. What kind of example is this for him? Seeing his father all beaten up and smelling like death. Hey! I'm scared. I don't know you anymore. Look, what do you want me to do? It's my job. Quit! Okay. Hey, Billy, you got homework. Find out anything? I had a few new ways to do it. <laughs> no, I mean anything useful? <clears throat> no, nothing. No. Well, uh, maybe something will pop up. Oh, I'm sure it will. are always finding innovative ways to take the other guy out. How you doing? Jesus. Drexel? I don't want to talk about it, okay? I come out here to just get away from it. Be alone, you know? Why don't you get out? Out? <laughs> Where? To what? Well, you won't know unless you try. Well, maybe some of us were just meant to be here. Drexel? Men like him, it's what I know. Besides, I never found anything better out there. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. I don't have to look, they find me. Go ahead. Tell me you're different. Tell me you're not like all the rest. I'm not gonna tell you I'm any different. All I know is I've got a son at home that I love very much and a wife that hates what I do. You expected her to like you fighting in the ring? It's a sideline. <laughs> the alley cat out on the prowl, <laughs> looking for a tabby in heat. <laughs> Try another alley, alley cat. <laughs> My name's Darren. Look, uh... I don't want anything from you, Lisa. It's just sometimes I, uh, I get a little nosy. You know the Hell Zone boundary's four blocks that way. Why don't you try it? <laughs> it's that easy, huh? Yeah. It's that easy. See you around. Find out, man. Not much. I didn't want to spook her. I was talking to one of the guys. He says Drex was like a Dutch uncle to the swordsman. And? Which means he's got to be connected to the Hellsiders. Ellie Yo. Listen. Because I like you. Okay. And the fans like you. I want to give you a little friendly advice, son. Keep your nose clean. Don't be too curious. It's not healthy around here. Look, man, I just went out for a smoke. Yeah. <laughs> it's not healthy either. 
Come on, you got a match coming up. Go get ready. Sure. Betting for match 143 is now closed. Now let's give it up for the Alcat and the You guys are coming along. <laughs> Thanks, man. I think we're finally getting the hang of it, huh? Hold it. 
Jesus. Thanks. No problem. You know, Darren, something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Yeah? There's something about you two. You don't seem like the regular sort of guys who do this. Why's that? For starters, you don't seem to give a shit about the money. It's like you're here for something else. Listen, when I was coming in, I saw Drexel talking to the swordsman and some of those gangbangers. What was he saying? He was saying something about it. Viper. Yo. The challenger for the main event bailed out. We're bumping you to a championship match. But I haven't qualified yet. Hey, you want it or not, we can give the money to someone else. Shit, yes, I want it. Hey. You sure you're ready for this? What are you talking about? This is my chance. Okay, boys and girls, we've just had a replacement for tonight's championship match. It'll be the Viper versus the Rocker. So keep your heads down because the blood in the gut I got a bad feeling about this. Cases. A friend of ours ended his career last night. His weapon wouldn't release. I know, I saw it. That's what happened to my boyfriend. Shit happens. This win is anything fair. It didn't just happen. It was murder. Murder in the death ring. There's a major distinction. It's run by a computer. You just don't get it, do you? It was Drexel. And he probably killed your boyfriend, too. Look, Lisa, our friend was going to tell us something about a vaccine. Now you done it, man. She knows you can come. She knows something. Hey, what's the deal? That was a goddamn setup. Didn't you hear? Anything can happen in the death ring. What, even rig matches? Michael wanted to fight lethal. He got what he wanted. Ah. That's what Hell Zone is all about. Everybody gets what they want. 
frightened you? What do you want? I try not to want anything. I live here. Get out of there. We're not fighting any lethal matches. I don't care. It's too dangerous. Look, we have a contact. And if you ask me, I think she'll blow a cover. Uh-uh. How do you know that? Instinct. Look, we're this close, Captain. Why the hell is this so important to you? It's personal now, sir. Which is exactly why I shouldn't let this thing go on, which is exactly why I'm stopping it right here. Captain, did you get anything on that scum shooter we brought in? Oh, Mendez? Nothing. I'm having him transferred to high security. Let us do this, Captain. We're gonna break it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now get out of here and get some sleep. You both look like a piece of fried shit. You have a good vacation. Stick it. Well, he's 80 seconds. Yeah. Here's a cop who came in looking for the swordsman the other night, aren't you? Don't deny it. I want to help. Why? Drexel. I thought about what you said about him fixing the match to kill my boyfriend. I just didn't want to believe it before. I'm ready, Brad. I want out. You want to know about the vaccine? He makes it in an abandoned factory at the edge of the hell zone. I don't know exactly where, but it's heavily guarded by the hell siders. Go on. That's all I know. I'll keep my ears open. Just get him. Well, if I do, he might be looking for another job. So you ready for another day at the office? I just talked to Lisa. She said Drexel's factory is at the edge of the zone. How do you know you can trust her? I just do. Yeah, how's feeling, Mom? Is he behaving? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, he's just like his daddy. He's always getting into trouble. Flowers for Mrs. Brandon? <laughs>
Look who's out of jail. Why'd you leave me in there? I thought it might serve as a lesson. I hope you didn't tell them anything you shouldn't have. Don't worry about me. I screwed over one of the oinks who put me in there. I'm glad you kept yourself occupied. I have a shipment going out tomorrow, and I need you. Hey, that guy's a cop. He's one of them that grabbed me. I told him the next time I saw his face, I was going to kill him. I think we have someone more suited to that purpose. Betty is now closed for match 164, the Hammer versus T. That's the other link man, Braniff. I killed his old lady. Wait a minute. What's this? What's the swordsman doing in the ring? Okay, listen up. Ladies and gentlemen, and all you other lowlights, match 164 is now a lethal championship fight. So let's get ready to rumble! A match to the death. The hammer versus the king of chaos. The
Go on. Get out of here. Drexel, look at this. Let's move now. What can I do, Braniff? I'm going into the zone to get Drexel. I can't let you do that. Definitely not. They've killed my wife. My partner, I'm going in. And not you or anybody else is gonna stop me. You want my badge, sir? That's the way it'll be. I don't want your badge, son. I want you alive. Let me take care of that. Keep awake. Trexel said the cops might come. I only see one cop. One stupid cop. Let him have what he came for.
How foolish of you to come alone, Braniff. Your problem's with me, Drexel. Not the girl. Let her go. <laughs> Drop the gun. Drop the gun! <laughs> I know you. I know men like you. You take things too personally. You want to be a death ring fighter? Let's see how well you do. <laughs> Lovely Lisa will be the stakes.
we control the 